Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to talk about something that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, I'm, uh, like I say, I, I'm up here, uh, with my cousin, uh, this is the cousin that was with me, well, it was his convenience store that, uh, I shot the guy, and the last time I, I shot somebody in Kansas, uh, it was his convenience store, and, uh, uh, my cousin's a lot like me, he, he's, he enjoys business, uh, he enjoys uh, learning about businesses and stuff like that and that's how I got in his convenience store is he knew I, was, I always wanted to be on a convenience store so he thought well you invite me over so he could show me and then I just happened to be there when it was being robbed uh, but anyway uh, him and I we talk a lot because like I say we share the interests of business and uh, it was funny because uh, uh, he went to uh, college to be a doctor and uh, he basically got done with it it was just his residency he didn't uh, finish up and uh, one of the things uh, uh, when he was uh, learning to be the doctor kind of thing they would you know uh, cut people open and you know uh, this type of stuff and then also on down the line in his career, uh, he also owned some uh, funeral homes, or a funeral home. And uh, so he's done art or autopsies. And uh, it was funny because, you know, I know you're thinking, well, what's all this got to do with money? And uh, uh, what it was, we were talking and he mentioned it. Because uh, sometimes when I see a bloody body, uh, it, it sickens me. And uh, sometimes, uh, because I say I'm in the, now I'm, I'm doing the Hoi Chi health and stuff like that. I learn about the body how it works and stuff like that and every once in a while I have a uh, I get in a situation where I'm dealing with organs and stuff like that and uh, it doesn't bother me I mean I can touch them I can do all kinds of stuff with them and it doesn't bother me any you know? and uh, and I never could understand why it was like that and my cousin mentioned the what they did when they're doing uh, autopsies and stuff like that, they would cover the face. So when you cover the face, uh, not you take the uh, the person out of the equation, and uh, when you then they can go in directly to the organs and, and you know do the stuff they do, and. Uh, it dawned on me when he's after he said that I've been thinking about it and thinking about it that's why uh, a lot of people don't understand uh, business and they don't understand what I talk about when I talk about greed and uh, uh, the thing is when you are uh, Okay, like I say, I was in the oil business. And when I was in the oil business, I was shocked how many people I saw that were greedy. I mean, they, they, they threw money at, at the oil business, and they were really greedy. They wanted money. and so, um, But it's hard to explain what the greediness is. And that's what it dawned on me. Uh, the thing was... Uh, I was in the oil business, I, and I say, I don't get greedy, um, I just don't. I, one time I got greedy, I went to Vegas, and uh, my wife and I were playing slot machines, and uh, I got greedy. I started thinking, I'm going to make more money, make more money, and what it was, I was focused on the money. That's what being greedy is all about. Now, the... 
the and now this is what I'm talking about when you're doing the aut autopsy. On the autopsy, they're focused on the organs and stuff, uh, or whatever part of the body that they're they're checking out. They're focused on that. Um, they're focused on uh, on the autopsy. They're focused on the cause of death. This is what they're focused on. Okay, when I was in the oil business, I was focused on learning all the different things I have to do to uh, be successful in the oil business. And, and I do the same thing in my, in my restaurants. Uh, I do the same thing on all aspects of my life. I, I want to be as successful as I can on whatever it is. I'm doing the leather, making things out of leather. Uh, you know, and success uh, to me doesn't necessarily mean I have to be the per best person in that field uh, because I say uh, I'm doing it for myself uh, success is what I'm able to get out of whatever it is that I got myself into and I choose to get myself into this stuff and uh, that's why if something happens and we're talking about preparedness uh, you when you have an emergency and stuff like that uh, you didn't pro you didn't ask for this to happen and when it doesn't when you didn't ask for it then it's a surprise and then you got to deal with it and it, it gets it gets difficult if you've practiced and if you've prepared then an emergency comes up you're better apt to get through it you don't panic you don't you, you stay focused on what you have to focus on and it's the same thing. I don't know how many people work, they get a job and they work and they focus on the money. And what happens is you'll get a job and you're making good money at it. And instead of looking for opportunity, looking to do better with for yourself in another field, uh, you get to the point where, look, I'm getting paid this much. Or retirement is going to have this. Uh, they got uh, uh, all kinds of benefits, you know, uh, um, health insurance, uh, dental, and all this stuff. And what you what you what you did when you when your decision to do that work is based on that type of stuff, that's called greed. Uh, you're you're you've sold your ambitions to the good pay you're making the uh, the benefits and all this type of stuff so that's the way greed operates on and like I say I was in the oil business I was learning and when I was in the oil business man I first had to learn how to drill uh, drill the to get to the oil then I had to learn how to run the pipe in and and uh, blow it up, frack it, and, and get it pumping and all this stuff. To do all that stuff, I had to learn. Uh, I had to learn a lot. <laughs> I had to learn geology, uh, how the ground sets, how you find the oil. Uh, I had to learn mechanics, how the machines work that are drilling the the stuff, or uh, like I say pulling units and pump jacks and. All this stuff I had to learn all that stuff I had to learn plumbing because I had to hook all these things together I had to learn electricity um, because we had electric uh, uh, pump jacks uh, there's so much that I had to learn none nothing motivated me that concerned the money and um, it was all I was my total focus was I had to learn, I had to learn this, I had to learn that. And the rewards from all this learning was oh, uh, I made money. So it was, and that's what I'm saying. Money doesn't motivate me, it's the rewards I get for doing whatever it is I'm doing. And some of the things that I do, I don't even get money for it. <laughs> you know, I do it without money being the motivation factor. And, uh, and there's a lot of things like that that I do. 
and but like I say, I stay busy. I I, I want to learn. I want to improve myself. Um, and to measure this improvement isn't done by how much money I make. And uh, so, but a, a lot of people, that's how they judge success in their life. Is they look at their account, they look at how much stock and and uh, you know stuff like that that they have and that's how they measure if they've been successful in their life or not and for me it's more like i've learned stuff i can't believe the kind of stuff that i've learned some of it's been real valuable some of it wasn't all that valuable and some of the stuff i learned on purpose and some of the stuff i learned because you know i'd made the wrong decision or i did stuff like that and this is why I push personal responsibility is uh, that's how you learn by taking personal responsibility if it's not your fault you just back off and hey it's somebody else and you know what do you learn out of that you learn how to be a chicken shit not facing personal responsibility and that's opposite of what I do and what I try to get other people to do and uh, it's funny because that's where morals come in you learn uh, good morals or you learn when somebody doesn't have any morals you learn that that's and but that's nothing you go out or at least nothing that I went out to learn I'm sure if you wanted to be a, a pastor or something like that maybe that's what they do in pastor school they learn what is moral and what is immoral they're, they're, they they learn it as a as a teaching tool for me I learned all this stuff by doing and being around certain people and these people and situations is what brings out the morals and what makes me have to use my uh, uh, taking personal responsibility and trying to get other people to take personal responsibility. If everybody's taking personal responsibility, I'm talking about three-man militia, if each person is taking personal responsibility, there's no limits on what we can do. I do the same thing in my businesses. I get everybody that's working for me to take personal responsibility over whatever it is they're doing. Not look how much money you're going to get. The thing is, they will make money when they take personal responsibility. Not only they'll make it now by working with me and getting this stuff done, but they're learning things that they can be able to apply in the future. And that's what's going to make them successful in life. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.